What's up, the bunch of shit? It's Crocodile Butt. So, today I got a how to video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be putting a ceiling fan up in my bedroom. I'm going to walk you through the steps like I did in the previous two videos of the how to's. So, stick around. Come follow, come follow the uh, Crocodile Buzz Master. And Crocodile Buzz will teach you some more electrical stuff. Stay tuned for some more. There's Poopy Dog. So, what I have here is a ceiling fan I'm going to be putting up in the uh, ceiling. So look up there. This existing light is going to be coming out and being replaced by a ceiling fan because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it gets really hot in here at night and I like to have some uh, some wind coming down to keep me cool. That's why I'm installing this baby. Now, like I said before, guys, first thing you want to do is always shut the power off. So, leave it the same one I touched the other day to turn off the uh, one for the stairs. So, we hit this one. Now, that should turn off the power to the bedroom. Alright guys, so, I don't need to take apart the switch for this. There's wires coming out to the lights right here, the old device. So I'm going to just check out my ticker, make sure they're dead. So they're all dead. I'm going to start taking down this light and uh, see what we got inside the box on top. Alright guys, so uh, I got the light off now. I'm just looking at this. This is going to be a really big pain in the ass with this ceiling fan up. Because there is a lot of wires in here that is old and weird looking. But I think I can figure out what what goes where. So it's I feel like this box is I mean it feels like this box is already screwed into the uh, a beam, so I don't need work. Because these ceiling fans you need to have them screwed into a box that's screwed into a beam. It feels like it's it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm yanking the shit out. I'm yanking hard as hell on it. I'm going to reuse the same box that's in here right now. Okay. So, I got the neutrals off and I got another wire in there. I'm going to take the hot, this hot off now and see uh, what we have. So, that goes to show you what kind of neighbors these are. Only has some Wormex wire, which I hate the pain in this passion. I'm just gonna throw this out. That thing is, that thing is just destroyed. So. Cut this old crap all back and off. All the hell that shit is. I put a wire on there instead of prop instead of having this old ass electrical tape around it, which I don't know what the hell that thing what the point of that shit is. Alright guys, I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm going to try to get the box out, the uh, ceiling fan out, and uh, show you guys what, what to put on there, step by step. So your standard ceiling fan uh, comes with your instructions. I'm not going to use them though, because I think I can pretty much install this thing without it. So, let's see what we got here. First thing you want to use is your mounting bracket. This will be perfect for the one I'm putting up right here, because I'll... I love that box is so. Here's your mounting bracket. You're gonna mount this to the uh, motor and mount the motor on top of this. So I figure where the other hole for this mounting bracket is. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Cool. Right today. Right to you.
So this this one right here is I know it's dark, so that's clearly the hot wire. All these pigtail together right here is a neutral. Because there's more than one wire coming in this box, which is goofy, but it's an older house. There's nothing really I could do about it. So we're gonna tie the blacks. The black and white, and I mean the black and blue to the black coming to hum from the box. Now I'm gonna get my wire nuts here. They came with the uh, package, the little orange one, and tape them and just tie them together. I can, sorry if my head's in the way, but. This is really, really difficult. All you gotta do is just twist and twist and twist. So there, I got my black and blues together. I'm gonna power up the light in the uh, fan. And my white wire neutral is gonna go with this big giant pigtail mess right here. These are our neutrals are all together inside the box when I open it up. Now since that's a bigger a bigger connection, I'm gonna need a bigger wire nut. I'm going to yank on that to make sure my neutral is intact and it's not coming loose. So I'm yanking on it right now. Nothing's, it's not coming out of the uh, splice I have, so that's good. And I'm going to yank the black and blue and make sure those are tightly secured. And I think they are because they're not. Oh yeah. We're good. Alright. So there's the connection. Your whites go to the white, the white which... You can't tell because it's a cloth. What I know, obviously know, because they color they color code do the same thing back in the day. These cloth wires. The dark one's always going to be your hot, and the white light one's always going to be probably most likely going to be your neutral. So I already I'm assuming that's my neutral because all these ones are coming together, and this one's all by itself, parent to the uh, the old light that was here already. If you guys didn't see that. So there, connections. Another another thing I showed you before, like in the one where I replaced the switch. There's no bare ground coming to this box. So another thing about these houses is, you know, it's an older house. The bot, the wires that are coming to this box have no ground wire. There's just two prong wire, which is, which is dangerous because these older houses were built in the 1920s. They didn't invent the uh, like actual rubber coating that like wires should have, and they didn't, they didn't come up with a ground wire. So. What I did with my gr my ground wire is I just tied it to the uh, mounting bracket to ground the uh, grounding ceiling fan just in case something happens or, or were to happen. So that's that's uh, grounded to their uh, mounting bracket in case something happens to the ceiling fan. But it's not really going to ground because there's no ground in that box at all. Now, guys, when to put your cover on, it's going to slide right over the mounting bracket on top here because we got two little screws there. You take two out and keep two on. All I got to do is just line it up. On each side, and just slide. You know, make sure that lined up, and just slide it over. And tighten her down. And take your other screws that you took off and put them back in. All right, guys. You can't have a ceiling fan without blades. <laughs> so these blades are irreversible. So you go cherry or you can go oak. I'm gonna go uh, cherry because I think it matches the room a little bit better. Most ceiling fans, you know, blades will be re you know reversible. Some might not be. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna take your mounting bracket here and you're gonna put it through the uh, 
line up with the holes like that. Take your screw and your little, um, what's that thing called? Uh, I forget what they call them things, guys. Um, <laughs> um, I'm just going to call it pad. You know, vibration pad. So you put the vibration pad on there. So keep you know keeps you know, prevents it from vibrating or keeps it makes it nice, nice and smooth. And just screw it on. So it should just screw in place. Screw it down. There's one. Should usually have three for each blade. And here's three. Just like that. All right, guys. So I got the uh, blades all attached now. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attach the blades to the uh, fan. Now, the fan blade, of the motor itself, the motor has the uh, screws inside of it, you know, show you where each hole will line up and stuff like that. Usually, typical ceiling fans like this have uh, five blades, and some of them have uh, just four. This one put up today it has five blades, so. I'll show you where, what to do, and uh, we'll go from there. So what you do, you want to take out these two screws that are like next to each other. Maybe you need it sometimes. I wonder what's this bad way to try to get out. Oh, man. So it's just flathead for this. Two screws out. I'm gonna place it. Put your little uh, vibrating strip on top of the uh, blade holes right there. Line them up. Then put your screw through. Okay, just one and two. Just like. Guys, so I got the ceiling flames, the uh, blades installed. It's been now. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the light, the light fixture on. Now you look inside this little box here on the ceiling fan. You got two little wires hanging down. Sometimes you have to, you're gonna have to splice the light fixture to the box of wire nuts. But these newer, these newer ceiling fans, I've been starting to notice that they have little connections here. You just, I gotta just plug it in. So just plug your black to your black and your white to the white. Let's see here. Black right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well, that's blue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so black and blue and uh, white to white. Okay, and white to white. Yeah. And all I gotta do is just tuck it in and screw it and tuck it up and screw it in. So lock your holes. Well, first thing I should do is take out the screws. Um, there's a little, there's a little chip out missing here. There's a switch on the side of your ceiling fan. Spins the blades clockwise and counterclockwise. So wherever that little gap is, that's the side where that's going to go. So 
Let me screw up screw my, my uh, little screws here first. Line everything up. And I'm gonna go from there. Take our little bases here to go over top of the lights. Alright guys, so I uh, just turned breaker back on. Let's see what happens. There you go. Works just like a charm. You got your three speeds on your actual pull chain for a ceiling fan. You got your light pull chain here. Now it feels nice and breezy in here. Alright, Blokes and Shiz, stay tuned for some more videos, some more uh, how to's coming your way. Um, pranking Jesse should be soon, so. Keep that in mind. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. Cock it out, buzz out.